Yes. <laughs> Wait, let me get some. Warmed up yet? Ethics must start from the question of justification. If one believes P, they must have sufficient reasons for believing he us, us belief would require usage of previous principles, within, which would then use previous principles, creating infinite regards. Thus, the question of what skepticism, ethics must deal with epistemic theories of justification and epistemology precedes any questions. If your word P can be true, P must be justifiably believable. Authors with no basis for testing truth of a proposition, thus evaluate the debate under best justification paradigm. Does judge not to the resolution better justifies the negation, vice versa? My burden is proved that the sense of law in democracy, the public's right to all to be evaluated about the right to privacy, the privacy of candidates, of candidates for private public office, better justified than the common best justification. Best first, truth has to the resolution of people who are Gender free stance, right? Short and fair, uneducational, also functions, functions independent, or risky issues, allow the knife to win, win by extended least coverage, to avoid clash of best justification. However, draw free stance, right? Even if there's some evidence of belief in the resolution, I'm just right to try that evidence, depends on the strength of the argument, comparing words, which claims that we should act as if the resolution of truth is to be desired, but do so also feels that I skip the arguments, merely push evaluation back from the direct question of the resolution to the second order question of whether it's true that we ought to act as if the resolution is true, second comparative worlds is denied to the philosophical education by building one consequential compared to paradigm structure, arbitrary limits to meet the principle, desired by the plan, best justification doesn't exclude that arguments are placed false arguments to be designed the basic comparison determination, which we use as best justified. Those three Solutions to the problem of justification, inferentialism, foundationalism, and coherentism. Justification from inference fails to accumulation of uncertainty, undermines accurate hypothesis, and false and fails to the problem of Dr. Chairman's factor 13. It's basic about there's not a for counts of knowledge. One can know each of P1 to P1, and yet further that P1 concludes in P1, and it might seem one person by notice from the premises, one of those conclusions is mistaken, so as I know P, Q, P1, R, and R, a priori, if P, then Q, then I can refer and know that if P, A, if Q, then P, and Q, because I know that R, I can rehearse this inference to derive knowledge of P, and Q, and R, I can write knowledge to conjunct everything, I know the accumulation of uncertainty gives us compelling reason to track the knowledge, track the system across even most basic modes, opponents, and foundations, and fails to claim that beliefs in just by the logical consensus between foundation beliefs that are A sub just by B infallible and C corrigible and is incoherent A more and assumes for infallible become its distinct environments allow process and logical failures ensure lack of consistency to basically solve regress to hierarchy is justification. There's no reason to believe that creation such a hierarchy is justified to be sold to all three, nor as an independent criteria for justifying what constitutes a basis to believe that falls back to external processes which foundations uh, foundations denies nice as having just purely powerful can't epistemic the essence of other such beliefs that are part of use of fallible Amazon process in first or self means and self-denying thus the solution is coherence system system justification which holds beliefs to justify the coherent system believe the standard is best consistency with maximum coherence impact Okay, point. The framework of the question of process justification not actually is a consequence of the question of strength of coherence, not anything else. To be point, coherence isn't consistency. The same as Ivan Apple 2 plus 2 is 4 to 8 it might be logically consistent, but clearly our coherence question mutual support explanatory power, i.e., why C point impact complex and on unique all forms of ethics maintain coherence. I consequential will justify X being bad based off of system beliefs and so on. Only coherence rejects and linear justification uses of moral support, avoids regress, punter. So does the appeal to clarity, not self-regress, the tax premises, uh, the idea of inferential justification, the limited conceptions, generally, rejection, limited conceptions, inferential justification, and all sorts of illicit conception, inferential justification, least or 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 being an inferential leader, other police over conscious coherence system with a particular belief justification for your or danger regress sense of overall system X hypothesis in order to seek the economic and state's relation as an independent mutual with no episode of priority. Each can be justified through the other direction, depends on context of district for, for one any rejection coherence and details assorted responding arts assumes P is true and P is not cannot accept by providing coherence to a framework that just concedes the authority of coherence. Two experiences obviously cannot individually validate reality, even analytical seemingly tautological statements like answer female would obviously be dependent on external social conditions. Belief more thirteen. So try which means very high very high correlation between being female and so crucial social we find a community line. Not hope then we would have been also a few by lost contention. Now the final resolution is general principle. If you want to be a fan implementation through a certain actor or process action cross excel, be willing to consider neg re terms and cross-sell spec and picks or relevant exceptions don't disprove them. They don't link anyways. And if if a firm specification definition or theoretic sound the negative must concede to them a vagueness, restoration word and also arbitrary definition of terms like democracy are burned different which is their interpretation loss or infinite a priori B stress you substantive challenges mood at frame and time see reactive entities disclosure prep it's all skew firm, which means you can treat that definition to compensate out all defend the resolution general principle. The US should be a limit test most predictable. We can't read other languages post firm take into account system please also use 50 plus years of blockchain but they're, they're, they're the most statistically sound one in some team. 1945, 38%, well, 40, 45% thought that would keep too much secret. 1970, and, and 1947, 59% majority, 1965, 51% Americans thought too much information was held. In 1971, 56% thought too much secret. 1973, 30, 30, 30, 33% said they agree with the government to keep certain things from being published. 53% agree with the press that the government claps out too many things. So 2012, only 30% thought the government would transparency open. 2016, 59% Americans thought Obama had failed the transparency administration. Always, it wouldn't temporality includes uh, long term stability and believe strongest thing to previous system temporality speaking, uh, temporarily speaking, because I live since I say calls of action. Because they ensure the voters actually understand the ensure voting that we consider interpretation of facts rather than ideology. C scope includes upwards of 20 polls between the probability of speaking the act most justified. Uh, most justified. Under view. One presumption permissibly to flow F1. A inclination to flow the same as being true. I, if, I, if I told you my name was I, he'd probably be B. B uh, seven, 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 four, six, three times. He means so firm, he's hard, so I don't want to drop in the case of tie. Two pair of three paradigm issues. A1 in our theory, meta theory, legitimate. Since it turns into the abuse of one as B, drop the reduction to slit two. I mean, second, I went through two layers in three minutes. C can be thinking of resistance two. I don't recommend multiple layers. The risk of office for A's necessity. Check back out office. Do you know RBS in the six minutes? Two and dominant theory means the two are impossible. Three, the app substantially justifies the frame with the rain mixer. And I can see the must concede the standard debate on that, especially the standards coherence of AFCs. Key to check the next time. See the ability to layer four by four. 
they're ranking. Wait, I'll second some spread out apps and claps or whatever later on the cover that consoles seem to look at education to develop critical thinking curves for next gen. Just extend draw players to win in Pierce Adler 15. Elim runs neck win fist 61%. Prove the next significant advantage for a meaning generated reasons why there, there isn't times you are not persuasive. Times you start internally defense is only objective measure. We have power you go to any negative theoretical response to shells. Defense and counter is best and they would just like the neck may respond to the affirmative and the neck doesn't concede to the affirmative after some turn the NC negative may not turn the AC otherwise it's curious process since neck went off the AC or uh, AC or NCF can only went off the one AC response excuse me it's a key interest a equal opportunities went for the negative must read a counter epistemological theory justification is justified their standing but they must record evidence in favor of the student for this interpretation since epistemological debates are key to real world problems some jokes them if it's much place of paper role in students learning process to reason strategy comprehension for the test of the empirical research linked to solve ill defined problems, if it's much effects of process used to reach the solution, if it's much strongest factors that influence rural problems, something only if it's logical, there's just make sure a competitive coherence is without having their epistemic debate. We lose this problem at our pro avenue of problem solving key real world is key to education simply impact rather than supposed to be Afghans RVI is eight time one year is too short to cover both theory and substance adequately. You can pick one substance collapse into two in order, which means we get we should get substantive as two deters infinitely uh deters frivolous theory sources that bad norms are uh, that said bad norms you reasonable use reasonable in theory. There's no reason to Make, uh, use, there's no reason you should make the one error. Uh, there's no reason you should make the one error. Uh, 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 one error, one error, hard. Obviously, theory assumes a, uh, assumes a theoretical trade-off of being an absence of substantive education. But if they're increasing more frivolous, you never get that absence of education. Uh, I'm good. All right, are you good? Mm -hmm. What does it mean for an ethical theory to be coherent? Um, I think that. If you were to say like X is true, that would probably be coherent to that ethical theory. So, for okay. example, if you read like YouTube. How do we derive said, a coherent theory? Well, the wait, I'm not sure what you mean. The answer is coherentism itself, How which means that any wait, sort of okay, claim what, what about is, the real what world is coherentism. Uh, sure, that. it says that it's it's a process of justification that says if we take any belief. It, has to cohere to previous systems of belief and be like corroborated by them, for example. Okay, so we that's in contrast to things like via previous experiences um, of belief that we've had. Um, systems of beliefs, not individual beliefs. Okay, and how I think do we that, determine that, would... that system of belief before we determine whether it coheres with our with, with that system? Sure. So, for example, if we believe certain things right now, like for example, if I believe that things like I don't know, free speech are probably good. Those systems of beliefs that are associated, well, beliefs that are associated with that, and things that would sell, so, uh, that would support each other mutually, which is the okay, Bar seventy six evidence, fine. would constitute a um, system. So why does um, what is foundationalism? Sure. Uh, so it's a it's an attempt to resolve the issue of infinite regress. It says that there are basic foundational principles upon which we can derive further principles. For okay, example, why does that say, why does that fail? Uh, sure, those foundational principles are arbitrary. To say that X must be blah, 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 blah in order to qualify for that is in and of itself an unjustified statement that must be drawn from that very, like, foundation. Okay. Which means that it just, it's just, it's nonsensical and circular. Okay. It also assumes linear justification, which our framework disputes. Linear justification ensures, like, things like accumulation of uncertainty. That's okay. the shared That's inspector fine. 13 evidence. Um, are there any arguments in the AC that can trigger either presumption, permissibility, or skepticism? Um, not as reasons to like, well, it just as okay, reasons so to like Okay, so you not go for a permissibility, presumption, or skepticism trigger in the one area. Well, no, 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 I was, I was going to get there. Skepticism is a reason to reject your framework. Uh, presumption and permissibilities are probably like round things, like okay, things that are Okay, are there any arguments of. that would trigger that in the app? Uh, yeah, do you want me to tell you them? Or yeah. you can read like a show? I, I want you to tell me what they are. Okay. Um, I, well, that's kind of hard to do because it depends on what the NC is, like, I think the whole framework is built off of contesting yeah, this idea of fine. skepticism. So you, if you defend like, the contest... entire resolution, right? Uh, yeah, but like we should use specific places as limits. So you can get okay, ground to things. What if but... I prove that globally, there like polls negate? Would that affirm or would uh, that negate? The ar well, our argument is that you should use the U.S. as a litmus test. Why? We well, I can't read like other languages like German. I don't know if you can. Um, the polls can be done in English. Even, okay, well, that, so that doesn't ensure always. Um, and also, it's the best, like, most predictable focal about, point because it's an international topic. Let's you can't talk expect about us to AFC. prep every single country. Um, what, what can I do against this affirmative in the world of AFC? Uh, you can turn it. You can turn okay. it. You can it's read critiques of it. You can read theory. You can do whatever you want. You just can't read a okay. separate ethical theory that contests it. I'm not sure. Okay, I can read a critique of it. Cool.
Okay. Uh, I have 130 left. Here is two off, and then the case. Okay. Uh, case, is it just top down? Are you starting with like the under view or something? Framework and then the under view. Okay. Do you want a stand or no? Uh, yeah, I would appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Oh wait, did you send the donk or no? No, I, is it okay if I like quickly go get a drink of water before I? <laughs> okay, thank you. What's this Kathy told you about her yo-yoing skills? Oh, you sent it? Okay. Yeah. Uh, you, you can do it. He said, you, you inherently, you necessarily, your action can see the story. I mean, 
driver, keeps running the battery, runs the battery shooter, a chase motor speeds in full funding activity, uh, and it's only when you kick out of duty, you drop the battery, it points sensitive since you can start buying these barbies for shooting CP points, the point is that there's nothing else to drop, which means you cannot drop anything, no RBIs, uh, a point sensitive is debating theory and winning on it, which makes total theory total realism, rather than checking these points, starts all stops from education on any other layer, C point, it's illogical, you shouldn't win for being fair, that's just an a priori, uh, burden, committee interpretations, a point, reasonably thought to committee interpretations, we use an often Z, has prior and self-inflicting violence right on some theory, B point, is, uh, the B point is that it's arbitrary by judgment pension, so there's no definition of what constitutes being reasonable, C point, cause race to bottom, or since invaders are as much as they can use nothing, T point, it's given norms, since it, uh, enables us to develop norms of what the activity, uh, should, should be, which requires a consistent standard, next off. Ethics begins with our interaction with the other. To ask how I ought to act is to ask how I ought to act towards independent others. Since as A, my actions only become actions, action rather than removes via their recognition by other subjects. And B, an entity must be the bearer of moral goods, such as happiness or freedom. So their frame flaws and C point, every statement of obligation is a statement of how I ought to act towards someone. Since an action solely directed myself wouldn't be able to justify obligation by other other than to, to, to myself, causing skepticism. The standard is respecting the alterity of the other. Prefer one, the I exists as but one single perspective, unable to know anything of the other, except that it is not themselves. The only obligation we can thus have to the others is to respect their otherness, as it's the only way we can drive from the ethical interaction blunt to K. I seem to question with the rule that overlooks my experience. I couldn't create it in my present. My perspective is not the only perspective. There's a point of view I can never occupy because the only way of defining relevant my point of view is that it's not my being. CBI is that no one can answer me. Second, it is a gap. And to derive an ob from it is to be incoherent. As describing with the other, it is, doesn't describe how I ought to act towards them. Just morals are obligations to others uh, to be determined logically prior to categorizing them as categorizations allow for arbitrary factors to influence obligations. That means that you should prioritize the ethical and counter prior to justification since uh, you cannot drive an off from it. So even if you justify what, the, what the, this, this is what is true, you cannot justify what ought to be true. Third, I did start to mention the mind that lack relation to external world. Beavers one. Everybody needs to work with mind to create not discover how can I just have an origin mind give us knowledge of independent real substances and to totalize this put the other kid into my set of categories, void of content with the real person, and thus with solely my ideas. Thus arbitrary inventions become the sole basis for ethical interaction, which destroys any process of justification. Be verse two. And to the person, the person, the person in my idea to be the real person, I close up contact with the real person. Actually, these people will refer to real uh, others. This is violent, not as the other autonomy tool position. Or when I look at the other, to rational categories before the other is spoken. We're supposed to contact with the other has been established. Contact with the other can't be established through ideas. Contention. One privacy is a matter of bodily independence that precludes interaction with the other and disrespects the alterity, as you say, from me, review of love and us. Needs to me as a kind of the other because the foundation of my body. Through it, <coughs> through it I have the uniqueness of the eye. The body is the self position. The eye has the uniqueness on the pre existential level. The uniqueness of the rabbis by the refusal of the conscious levinos is emphasis on, on the privacy of the body. You can be previously free without this. We do not have a human plurality. Side so members would only be the only reasons only would, would vanish the levinos. Once leave room for the ethical relationship, this is where our plurality requiring the position of the same and the other. Second, revealing information about the other enables voters to categorize candidates and personal groups without hearing them speak. Third, others only have a right to know if you disclose yourself to them. Forced disclosure again by violating the conditions of the ethical kind by training candidates. Alterity is mere obstacle to the ascertainment of knowledge when the ethical encounters are choosing. Significance proven it by their contentions is they uh, simply presume that, they, uh, that, 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 that the beliefs of people should be the basis by which we, we disrespect, disrespect others. Alterity, not the act on the framework. As an overview, one is that there's no way to derive, uh, to derive the initial principle between what we are holding and coherent to. They just they don't have a process of uh, justification with them for that, which means only the NC answers the higher level question. Second, that they rely on some external standard of what coherence is, but that's inaccessible since everyone has a different uh, understanding of what's coherent due to their particular position. Uh, and because they are the other, we cannot answer what, oh, what, 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 what another society's uh, coherence is, which means that because it is radically different for every individual, we cannot just assume that the majority is true because uh, because all, all, all we can know about the others is that they are the for me, which means that the, the conception of uh, form, forming a majority is incoherent because uh, every agent is radically. Is radically different from the other. Second is that you should reject uh, claims to intuition. A point is unviable, false, viable, will constitute an intuition. B point is that a pole cannot necessarily represent it since they're asking for uh, a particular race. C point is that it's arbitrary and it invites judgment just because this is what is intuitionally true. Does that mean that, uh, this is, does that, mean that it is ne that, that is necessarily what we ought to act on uh, ethically? Fourth is that you should prefer, prefer ethics to justification. A point is that the only reason we care about justification is because we justify, uh, justify ourselves to the other because uh, that is the way that ethical inter inter interactions exist. Which means the only reason that we would care about justification is because of, uh, of ethical interaction. The B point is that to engage in any enterprise is that they actually presume that there is some pretty true obligation to engage in that enterprise. For example, if I say that I ought uh, to justify myself, I necessarily uh, have, 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 a, have a pretty true obligation of why I ought to justify myself. Uh, justify myself. Which is that the ethical encounter comes first and answers all their hijack arguments because all their arguments presume that I'm simply justify myself. But even if I justify myself, uh, justify myself in this particular way, it was because of my relation to the other. Now, the line by line. They first say that inference is bad. One is that Levinas is not a form of inference. Two is that it just proves we should get better at filled with and resolve uncertainty. Third is that it relies uh, on inherent intuition, which we've already impact turned above. Their next argument is that foundationalism. A bad one, Levinas is not foundationalism. It's a reason why a particular ethical theory is good, which we obviously relies on. Two, we've justified that for the foundation, which means that it is not infallible. And uh, the third is that it does not lead to a regress. Your framework leads to regress since it's uncertain what constitutes being coherent. Now, the next argument is that coherentism solves, but uh, they, 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 they say that it collapses because we, uh, because we have to justify something. That's an ethical prefab conflation. Just because I justify something in this debate doesn't mean that I necessarily conceded and entirely. Also, even if uh, all ethics is coherentism, that doesn't mean that my, my argument is, is, is that in a world where we ought to prioritize, uh, we ought to prioritize Levinas over uh, the, the public decision making procedures. Now, the underview. 
ask an overview all these arguments between you armies and they're applying particular ways in the one area that you definitely giving your responses down the permissibility armies one is that you get infinite after time which means you're able to uh, force things to small generics like um, that, 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 and you can just practice those one errors which means that, which that means that time to use a relevant because you're able to make the one error literally perfect second is that your studies are old and do not account for new and new for, for new things like the, like this absolutely terrible topic which gives the front of way more ground third is that you can determine the plan for the bit which is uniquely important in the context of the topic it means that you're uh it means you're able to move my offense which obviously outweighs because ground control access the access the valid fourth is that we do not necessarily presume the statements are true that's just uh, that, 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 that's question of the particular statement fourth fifth is that you get spin because you get the other person last between you're able to make your arguments stick and the judges but, but my, my, my better their paradigm arguments cross by the other fight using new arguments in the one year also in the sacrifices sandbagging a bunch of shells and i'm never able to effectively engage in them and now the afc shell counter is that i can contest of uh, your, your philosophy one is that it's key to follow philosophy education because we're able to be different philosophy which i always because the only thing you do is only thing you need to lb uh, and it gives it a zero value second see the neck flex they said that the only option to have is like turn the app which is obviously not enough and always all their offense i'm actually their ad evidence is very old and even if you can spread out the affirmative that's inevitable we'll just do things oh, through, through, through other things now they said it's just a defensive counter interpret yeah that's the reason why your your your, your interpret is wrong they say we, we, we should record evidence we have in uh, our analytics are stu- uh, still true they say rbis but uh cross the arguments above also even though the one you're short you can just a uh, frontline t-shells and it does not deter for theory because uh it does not, not deter for frivolous theory because even if i if you read an rbi people will just frontline t which resolves all your offense <coughs> <coughs> Ready? Uh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's go to the Lebanon and see. Yeah. Why are statements true? Why are statements true? Yep. I don't really know what you mean by that. Your framework should answer that question, I think. Um, I think it answers a higher level question of what how is that we ought to interact question? with the other. Um, so I don't think I have to wait. Make... Is not is Levinas's argument not that you can produce the only statement that is from... true in the context of ethics is that I cannot know what the other is. Right. Then how do you derive? Statements. So are obligations truth statements or no? Um, it depends. On so what if you, you were obligated to do, it depends ex- on what you define a truth statement. As. What is what is your definition? I don't think that I provided one. I don't think that I need to. Provide okay. One. Is this is this an is this an epistemic theory of justification or is this just a theory of truth? It's not a theory of truth. It's okay, of what is evidence. the episode? All of our interaction arguments. Okay, the Beaver's evidence says that ideas are solely inventions of the mind. So my justification is solely uh, internal. Wait, ideas are inventions of the mind? Taken. What if what if I say things well, okay, uh, do you like ice cream? Uh yeah. Okay, Lawrence, do you like ice cream? I'm not answering this question. Kathy, do you like ice cream? You, you said you said that things like intuitions are unverifiable. Okay, also the Where argument is that I cannot even know if he actually does because all like my perception of what Lawrence why is why would that why would they lie? My mind. Why would what? they lie? It the, the argument is that my perception of the external world is internal to my sure. Mind. What other perception? If your argument is that engagement with the other produces obligations, me engaging with the other, i.e., asking you if you like ice cream, is also yeah, equally yeah. as unverifiable. Yeah, so the distinction then, is that the affirmative like coerces. The, um, right, like so the if, if the argument is that you must that not like, harm the other to preserve the possibility of such interaction, it's not but about such interaction is in and of itself not it's verifiable, then what, like, the why is your argument is that it's here? not verifiable, it's that the interaction with the other bridges the unbridgeable, or the, except for that. Right, but effort. is that interaction right? because if, if itself Because Warren does good. disclose himself to me, that is not totalizing. But if I, like, force him... Right, but you're, you just said, said you just said that when other people disclose things to you, that is unverifiable. How do you gain the I knowledge that, that your theory is, talks about? Uh, okay, so the argument is that if it was not, like, the other did not digitize themselves, then it would be unverifiable. But in the case... That where, doesn't make any sense. Okay, I mean, your spec does. shell, how do I violate? Um, because you didn't spec a democracy. Uh, I... Gave you ground, but I said we should use the U.S. as a litmus test. How is that not like yes, net better than you your? Yes, you can redefine what constitutes a democracy. So if I were to, I said the U.S. I said the. You said US. that we should use that as a litmus test. You didn't specify it as your advocacy. Okay, that seems like the most arbitrary violation ever. The I don't F. I think so. Um, it's your plan text. Sure. Uh, the F. Um, you say that we. You say that it's not foundationalism. How is it not? Um, if there's a universal principle that things like interaction with the other it's not, are... The, the NC rejects universal principles of how we ought to interact with the other since all we can know about them is that they are not ourselves. Okay. Uh, starting now.
also, I will acknowledge that I somewhat misspoke in the sense that if he discloses himself, it is not totalizing. Or like, what, what is I will. Like, okay. the question you were asking, I will uh, acknowledge sure. that it's not internal to simply my mind. Okay, uh, are we using five minutes prep, by the way? Did you use five? No, okay. but we can if you want. That's uh, fine, 141 then left. Okay. Right. Signing out. Okay, um, everyone good for an order? Uh, <clears throat> okay, the order is? This doc is blank. It is? Yeah. <laughs> okay, reset thing. Losers? Yeah. Hey, Cap. <clears throat> <laughs> what? Where is this off? Oh, I named it. I got one. Okay, let me know if that's still empty. Hopefully, it isn't. Okay. Uh, the order is um, the AF. Under view, um, a new off, uh, the aft, um, the spec shell, their framework. Uh, I think it's. No, 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 it's not. Yeah. Wait, the off is extended, right? Yeah, I, d I. Did you. Can you just type the interp for me after the one I was just going to extend the interp. I, oh, I can do it after the yeah. one area. Yeah. Okay, so you said uh, the underview, the new off, and then is it the special on the app, and or the app the special, and then the button off. Uh, it, it's underview, new off, the app spec, your okay. NC. <coughs> Okay. Is everyone ready? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, I only set the time for two minutes. Okay. The underview. You don't get new to in our responses. They were clearly tagged. The one you see, all of them were. Now all of them were tagged. I.e., one ear gets theory. One ear has top debate, which is none of his. None of his arbitrary loss or two in our sandbag. You really spent six minutes on random paradigm issues that should have been that should have been responded. To the NC makes a one ear strategy impossible. They were premised off of me being able to extend it safely in the one and the first Um, shell. Okay. 
interpretation that negative debater may not contest the affirmative debaters, uh, may not contest the affirmative debaters framework one point time they get six minutes of class or whatever, uh, whatever level they get, uh, whatever level in the NC. It's also reactive, which means they get to pick the obviously the better framework, the, uh, the better the framework the topic just spread out with a ton of contention level offense. It can be a seven minute NC, which means there's no, uh, there's no way for you to engage every single argument in the NC could possibly also up layer the AC, which means that I have to engage on both layers and win the, and, and, and win the, and win the up layer, which, which means it's impossible. You're counter You say it's key to philosophical, you say it's key to philosophical education. We're going for fairness over education. Education is not uh, education on you. You can get it from outside. Around fairness is constituted with the choice how you value things like education. First, you say, you say key to Netflix. No, obviously we've impacted on this. Affirm, uh, we've impacted this. Affirming is harder times. You always link one five and very wide. That's completely that was completely conceded. Under you, which means all these arguments don't make sense. Infra prep doesn't make sense. Obviously, I can't project every single argument from the uh, every single arg every, every single argument from the answer. You say I get spec that is good by your interpretation, which means anything else would be a, uh, a, 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 a anything else would be a double bind. Um, the F. All ethics starts from justification. The coherentism is the only solution to the invoice inferred address by A, rejecting linear claims of justification, using self-supporting systems, B, rejecting individual participants of morality, bad, which back to the question to clarify, we accept reject beliefs based on coherence, the current system beliefs, not individual beliefs, which result in the issue of reduction and regress. You've conceded the uh, contention level often extend that here. A multitude of polls over 20, a multitude of polls over like 60 years indicate that you would affirm there. Yeah, waste on scope, yeah, waste on scope is over, over 20 studies. They also take into account the individual uh, opinions of the voters. So change is verified, but you're not now the framework proper. You say there's no, no you say there's no initial principles. Uh, no, you, obviously you start from somewhere. Also, two point. We also have no, we also have knowledge of current events right now, which means that it's empirically denied. Just a question: How we proceed from the status quo? You say uh, you say only your framework can understand what coherence is. That's not the uh, you, you say only, only your framework can understand what coherence is. That's not that's not the argument. It's a question of whether or not you can have statements be justified before they can be true. I interaction with the other might be a good thing, but the reasons why you think that that statement in and of itself is justified is based off of other systems' beliefs, i.e., that you believe, for example, that you can only get knowledge from interaction with the other, which just proves that your framework devolves back to or oh, well, you just prove that your framework devolves back to our don't evaluate under truth. Uh, don't evaluate under under, under truth testing is better, less or arbitrary. Uh, spikes, uh, spikes, spikes out of the AC. It fails. Your framework is foundational. Surprise! There's universal principles that so we can use a linear chain of events. I interact with the other. will gain some sort of knowledge. Uh, some sort of knowledge that which inevitably fails. It rely. It, it assumes. It, it assumes we're reliable. Uh, reliable. Getting one year. One year three comes for NC theory. Obviously, because it does my ability to respond to the NC. Um, spec. Counter interpretation, uh, counter interpretation, the affirmative against the handhold resolution and spec uh, specific countries limits test is your inter plus it's also accurate offense because you still get grounded specific anything because you can also use the US assault on your depth of offense. It's empirically proven because the AC's only piece of offense was derived from polls in the US machines. You could have just contested on the substantive level. There's no reason you couldn't have done otherwise. Assault on your offense. You say shifting, you say you say shifting is obviously no shifting it's because uh, whole, re whole, 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 resist whole resist is shifting. We spec a uh, limits test. It's also accurate. Your definition it's also accurate. Me shifting out of Japanese democracy. So obviously, the US is democracy. You have not. Contest that, which means it's also for all your which also for all your standard death argument. You can still obviously engage with the firm. We specify the U.S. Renewable 15 argument. Your Renewable 15 do argument doesn't make it, it do, do, doesn't make any sense because there's no semantic justification for why we violate that. This is a spec shell, not a topicality shell. Your framework. One, the framework begs the question of well, how the infinite obligation interacts with the world. My framework can access what our obligation that obligation to, to the items not exist in the expense of others. Road and self touch and generally infinite obligation sees like there's no self limits really. I am the network of our relations with the soul of external others. My uh, uh, tendency to assert myself as the expense of the world of public steps is being part of a theory and infinite obligation other were resulting in paradox to read. There are an infinite number of the uh, infinite number of general letters to which I'm bound and cannot respond to the call of another one. I suffer as the other. The result of concepts are condemned a priority to practice for any goblin case. The priest is the individual having self in the first of the territory to by seeking the public. I am a sacrifice to be showing all my other obligation to others who others who don't speak language who I may never need to speak who I never need to respond or address myself in the proper manner. Also, turn this around by saying we can't say what they signed a contract with Jesus, not coercion. They knew they would have to disclose information. Okay. Uh, I have one thirty left. Starting now. What are the? What's the one within the first era card? Uh. Yeah, so in infinite obligation to other, any sort of standard or obligation I draw from a group of others would exclude or preclude my ability to draw that same standard from another group of others, which means inevitably your framework is exclusionary and can't okay, account that's for that's fine. It. What's the one within the second card? Within the what? Within the second card. The ZZ card or the... Uh, the the second Dara card. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, for example, if I'm unable to communicate with the other, for example, if they speak a different language, I cannot fulfill that obligation, which proves that your framework is not, like, universal.
plan happens immediately, right? Oh, it's a value statement. Okay. Alright. Um, the order is the um, app interpretation. So it'll be like on the underview because that's where I flowed yep. my answers to it. Um, and then the line by line. Then the NC and then the AC framework. Wait, so, okay, okay, I got it, I got it. Sorry, where is um, I am starting on the shell, then, and like there'll be like a very quick overview. Um, then going to the NC, um, also with an overview, which might be a little longer. Um, then the NC proper, uh, and then the AC framework. Okay. <laughs> Also, could I like very quickly go get water? <laughs> Thank you. Shell and CAC. Um, is everyone good? Yep. <laughs> They have functionally conceded the warrants within all of the counter provinces. We would fight within it out. Then you would obviously but negative there. Extend the philosophy education argument, which indicates that I would not be able to contest the AC framework, which is sort of my ability to engage in rigorous philosophy education, which is like the only ground on the topic, given that there is no substantive to this at that outweigh since uh, would you concede it since A point is the only thing that's unique to LD. Uh, you, 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 you obviously will not care about fairness. A uh, seven year you're surrounding you can get eight other forms of education in other ways, but this is only a unique form of education that, that, that matters. Education outweighs fairness. A point is that it's, you can see that it's conditioned of purpose because that's its reasonable tools on the activity, which means that even if fairness is what you have to do in individual delivery rounds, if the constituent of purposes of uh, fairness since the, since the activity would get shut down if, if, if it was not uh, educational, then uh, fairness is simply a side state that occurs within it, but education is its constituent purpose. The point is that it's the only durable impact because uh, it lasts years after we uh, leave the activity, but an unfair decision happens, uh, it just happens immediately. Which means that our, our arguments obviously outweigh. They don't get any new answers to these arguments since they were in the one and C. They said that uh, the, the first time I often is not unique, but no, specifically in debate, we're able to clash over different philosophies, which we're able to clash over different philosophies, which enables, um, the, which enables greater debate over, over those issues. Second is that uh, it's not non unique because you won't engage it. In things like Levinas and other places, because it's not relevant to your external life. They say that it's constitutive, but they've conceded a constitutionism, which means that at best it's a wash, uh, and at worst it definitively outweighs for the analysis that I've done above, which is that that's an independent reason why the counter is better, uh, and, and therefore counter rotation, I can contest your framework. That was in the one and C. Now the next argument I'm going for is Netflix. When, when I asked them across this what I could do against this affirmative, they literally just said, You can turn the app. How am I supposed to turn a descriptive standard about polls? Obviously, that's not better. That justifies counter trip. Uh, I, can test the AC, I can contest the AC framework if, it is, um, if the offense within it is polls, because, that, because it would be descriptive, in which case I would. Uh, I would be 
possible for me to return their framework, and I'm not able to contest it, which destroys all possibility of negative flux. They say they have impact from this. No, uh, they've conceded the argument from the one and C, which indicates that if you would literally lose, destroy all of my ground, that would uh, obviously uh, massively outweigh yeah, Aflex, since that's the only way that I can access the ballot. Now, the, in, 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 now the Aflex arguments, if I win um, the, the, the next flex standard, and I win the, 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 the excuse towards the affirmative, that obviously outweighs. First, it's in the infinite after time, after time army, you're able to force me to small generics, and then just prep up those arguments. They say that you can't predict every argument. Yes, if you read a very small F, and this was a new F, you can definitely know what general arguments are going to make. People read Love and Us all the time. You read Kant all the time. I would also get like Cap and maybe some T-shells. So you can definitely prepare that. They just quit whining. Second is that your study is old and doesn't count for, for unique circumstances. Second is that they've conceded that you, uh, third is that you can, they've conceded that you can get spin, which you're, means you're able to make arguments on the line by line go away by uh, framing them such that, they, such that they don't matter, which takes out their time to argument and was a conceded answer, which it is not skewed towards the affirmative. And you know, under their standard argument says that you can determine the best framework. But no, you just have to win that your framework is good, which uh, is probably going to be very easy given that your framework is massive. Uh, I'm not going for the ones you say, which this is relevant. Now, the NC. It does not matter how many bloody arguments you make within 30 seconds if you are conceded fundamental thesis questions of the NC versus the ethics is a matter of, is that ethics should be based on ethics, not a matter of justification. The eight points that it's, okay, they've conceded multiple arguments versus that it's key to a consistent theory of actions, since otherwise the only way that our actions come into place is when we place them towards the other. Otherwise, they're simply mere movements that are not recognized by any, by any external force, which means the only way to provide a coherent theory of action. Action theory comes before justification, since the only reason we care about justify action, action is because we have a coherent theory of what action actually is, which uh, means that it's key for, key for ethics, got action. Is that the only uh, the only bears of goods like just justification is uh, because we justify it to the other, which means that uh, at the, which means our ethical interaction with the other is is, is, is an operative question. They have conceded this argument from the one and the which means that justification is necessarily secondary to our interaction with the other, so our obligations to the other necessarily come prior. The second argument going for the uh, for how we interact with the AC is that they don't get access to coherentism uh, because uh, because the only thing we know about the other is that they are not us. Their perspective is infinitarily different, which means that uh, which means that there's no possibility for us to create coherent, coherent ethics without it, without it. That, which means that there's no possibility of coherentism and the term collapses as in mind. Third is that uh, is, is the, the, the third is a next question of what considers coherentism. They've conceded that they rely on some intuitional principle. They've also conceded arguments why you should not you know, default to intuition since they're unverifiable. And we do not know what people's intuitions are. We know we have to justify a foundational principle so that we can make it go, so that we can compare our beliefs and then, and then make them coherent with, the, with, with those standards. We've showed three con basically conceded arguments. Uh, for the NC takes out the AC. Now, the line line. They say the next question of the infinite obligation. The infinite obligation is just like the ulterior of the other since we cannot totalize them. They say you reject that I, the I is not at the expense of the other. One, I've explained multiple arguments for why the I is at the expense of the other uh, for the justification why ethics is uh, if for ethics means of interaction, which they have 100% conceded. Second is, the, uh, is, is that we cannot totalize the other, even if we're not at the, at the expense of them, since, uh, since, since that, would, that would violate their ulterior, because that would put, uh, that would, that, that would put another I at the expense of us, which means that, uh, this is, which means that it's, it's still violates. They say that it would lead to an infinite obligations of paradox, because uh, we have different obligations to different others. No, we do not have a specific obligation to particular others, because all we can know about the other is that we respect their ulterior, which is true for every other other that I, I can interact with. They say that it, we're unable to communicate them with them. One is that the entire argument is that we should not, uh, the entire argument is that we should not totalize them, and therefore they shouldn't have to communicate with us. Second is that people's actions can thematize and disclose themselves to us, even if their uh, specific words can't. Third is that there are things like interpreters, which is, this is obviously irre irrelevant. They say that they signed a contract. One is that the, uh, is, is that the affirmative would happen immediately, since that, how we it generally works. Don't make them, let, let, let them make new R2 to your argument, since they, they don't make this clear in the warning argument. They said uh, they have not signed a contract that their privacy rights would be violated. Two is that there are things like privacy rights, which is inherent to the right to the resolution, which is that it is not contractually oblig obligatory. So extend, uh, no, extend the argument in, 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 in the contention, which indicates that you would violate the independence of others by uh, forcing them into our particular perspective, which totalizes them and, and it makes ethics completely incoherent, which turns all of their arguments because the only possibility we can have of ethics being coherent uh, is, is when we have an interact with the other, which you necessarily violate, which means that the NC takes out the AC, which means I don't have to win any of the arguments on the AC, but now the AC. First, send the argument for you. There's no way to, to, to make, make something coherent if we don't de de develop the initial principle. They say that there's, it's not nations, we always start from somewhere. My argument is that you have to justify where that somewhere, somewhere comes from. That's your own argument about why ethics should be based on justification. They say we have to honor a way that we understand current events. But obviously, your framework is not about current events. It's about uh, things like meta ethical justifications, which means that we have to drive an initial principle and only the NC provides it. Uh, the, 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 the next argument I'm going for is, is the argument that justification only happens to the other, which means that uh, we, we have direct a, a meta level a meta level principle. They say that my framework is foundational. Maybe it is foundational, but they've conceded reasons why their framework collapses foundationalism. Also, it doesn't drive a develop full of foundational obligations other than we have to respect the alterity of the other, which means that it isn't a particular obligation. Look, they have conceded way too many arguments. Um, like, the, the, which means that oh, we have one that the NC takes out the AC, they have not extended enough framework justifications, uh, and they're like meta-level interactions that you have to wade through um, that they just have not answered. Okay, um... <clears throat> 141. Starting. Do you get an RVI on one-year theory? Uh, no.
Okay. Yeah, the aft, the NC. Is everyone good? Extend the offense if conceded it over 50 years of post concludes affirmative which means that if we win if we, if we win the question frame you should you should just vote affirmative on the frame on the frame on the, on the frame we could extend foundationalism fails uh, to justify some sort of foundational principle that we must base ethics off of it is in and of itself begging the question because it presumes that that statement that 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 statement that that principle is foundational is justified to begin the only the only coherence can resolve that they've conceded that it devolves back to coherentism the the, 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 the only argument they extend on the, the only argument they extend on the F is that there's no initial principle but no obviously you can see you can see two arguments. One, we have well, we have current knowledge now. B point. But our offense definitely proves that we have previous systems beliefs that we can then cohere future beliefs to. It's a question of mutual self-support. You cannot define something from linear approximation because that creates chains of uncertainty, which means that we can never evaluate the truth. We can even if you evaluate the, the resolution, even if you write the resolution of the truth testing frame, you can never evaluate the truth of the NC because a community of uncertainty through logical steps like their syllogism doesn't make any sense. It's a question of just it's a question of the previous systems of beliefs, which probabilistically speaking is more probable to be true. They've also conceded it's a question of best justification, which is that any theories of justification come before any sort of normative theory of uh, any sort of normative theory of truth, that there's a, which is what the entire NC is. I, we can derive truthy, truthy normative moral obligations from the other. Obviously, that's denied by the uh, obviously that's denied from the uh, by the affirmative frame, fr affirmative frame. Before one can know that a statement P is necessarily true, you have to know that in saying that P is true, that statement is in and of itself justified. You have no reason to say that statement in the first place. That obviously you cannot evaluate the statement. Their framework. <coughs> We have not conceded the thesis. Of the, we have not conceded the thesis of their frame. The EC definitely comes before. They say it's a question of theories of actions. There, it's a question of whether or not statements by themselves are justifi justified. I, if you say it ought to act this way or I, I, I ought to act the other way, you must have a reason for making that statement or a justification for believing that statement is true before you can actually take action. Which means that our frame hijacks action. They also conceded born from the EC. You're, you say there's no access to things like intuitions. No, obviously you've conceded the app polls. Often sources that we can. But their systems like their systems like their systems like polls also is irrelevant. Even if there's a marginal impact, they've also conceded that any offense to any framework presumes that it's coherent to that framework, which is in and of itself of system, a system of beliefs, which means that the AC comes before the ANSI necessarily devolves. So you should evaluate the offense in a higher. You should evaluate the offense in a higher layer because they're uh, because they're deriving something from the affirmative framework. It's a hijack argument. They say they, they say begs the questions. You can say you, they say begs the questions. So don't mind if you cannot verify the intentions or anything about the other other than the fact that they're not. You, you cannot derive some sort of obligations, which means either there's no impact of the contention of offense of totalizing the other because we would have no use for that other in the first place, or it means that you would default the. You would default the affirmative because their framework is false. Their uh, contention, their, their contention level argument. You, you can see that there's relevant distinction between candidates and other people. Obviously, other people should have a right to privacy. That's what all your evidence is the context of. It's a question of whether or not those people have signed the contract. The affirmative is a value statement. It's not a plan, which means it doesn't happen immediately. It's just saying this ought to be the way that it is, which means that uh, it's definitely not coercion. It's not totalizing them because it's their choice to enter office in the first place. We're also going for the uh, the world's going for the data evidence and infinite obligation of the other inevitably trades off with others, which means that you would affirm under their own frame because it's not normative. Any obligation. To, for example, Lawrence would trade off with me consulting Kathy about something, which is obviously flawed. Correct. Can I some more?